Hey friends, it's been a little while since I've done a plan with me. Um, my business just launched a new collection, so if you haven't seen it, it's for these uh, glamour discs, which are like sticker overlays to put on your discs. So I've got 11 shapes, 18 colors that you can mix and match. Here's a really cute uh, cat one stars, some dogs, as I said, 11 shapes. So I've been busy doing that. So those launched this week, um, which isn't to say that the work is over, but I'm not quite so single-minded focused on it anymore. So I think it would be fun to do a plan with me. Haven't done one in a couple weeks. I'm going to do something weird today because I'll have a specific plan and it's September, um, so it's starting to get to be fall, and I did tumnify my planner. Um, but it's not so deep into fall here that I'm feeling like really seasonal specific yet. Um, so there's a little more play here than usual. And I'm going to play a game I'm calling Let the Dice Decide. So, um, I played Dungeons and Dragons in high school. I've got sets of dice with all kinds of numbers of faces. And I thought it would be fun to see where the dice take me. So I'm going to start by picking what sticker book I'm going to use. I have, I don't have an extensive sticker book collection. Um, you can click my digital planning uh, playlist that I'll link up above, uh, which is part of why I don't have quite as many stickers as many people, but I do have a collection now. So I have 15 sticker books. Uh, I just counted and only like one of them. So I'm going to make myself two exceptions. There's one that I just used. Let me, this is this week's spread. Was that not actually, there's not a single Oh, there's one sticker on here. So this won't be my exception, but two weeks ago, I did this spread here with the Planners Anonymous Books and Botanicals stickers. So my two exceptions for my sticker books are if it's this Books and Botanicals or if it's the winter. I have one winter book. Um, if those happen, I will re-roll, but... Um, Otherwise, we will just go with what happens. I'm loving this spread, by the way. It's been a lot of fun. Great for my launch because I just a long list and then a little space here. Look how happy those little pink birds are. But this one's not the point of the, uh, the video. But if you want to see how I did something like this, I have a um, Hig Huggy Life and Bon Voyage digital uh, planning that I will post above and it was very similar to this taking clip art and just so these are just printed on with the exception of these two um, with these two birds I cut from the scraps and um, and did it but all of these boxes all of this art um, this checklist here are all printed on which is really fun and this is my vertical dashboard layout which I will post the link to it's a printable that you can download and print I love this layout I love it I it's one of my favorites okay enough blabbering let's see where the dice take us I have uh 20 sided dice and as I said I have 15 sticker books so if uh, I get a number higher than 15. I'm just going to like loop around seven. All right, let's see. So the seventh sticker book in my stash is this happy memory keeping sticker book, which I don't believe I have used at all. So that's really fun and it encompasses a lot of different times so there is some fall stuff if I wanted it but there's also plenty of non-fall stuff it's not Halloween yet though 
Uh, I'm not necessarily going to stick to only this sticker book, um, but this is going to be the like primary driver. So I don't know. Let's just keep having fun. This, um, so this book has 30 pages. I'm going to take a 10 sided dice and a 20 sided dice and let's see where we're going to focus. All right, 14. This was it, which is good because I'm not quite ready for Halloween. So this is going to be where I focus. And uh, I got really lucky. I promise this is my first take. Uh, no cheating has happened, but this is what we're going to use. All right. I'm going to keep going with let the fates decide here. And I'm going to ask. If I'm using scrapbook paper or not. Um, so that's a yes or no question. I'm gonna do evens is yes, odds is no. Even, yes. All right, I'm gonna look through my scrapbook. Oh, should we keep playing? I think I have like four scrapbook books. Let me go count. All right, I pulled out my scrapbook books and I was gonna keep going, but I these were on top and I love these. And they're like, I don't know, they feel perfect for like this kind of in between summer and fall feeling. So I think I'm going to do these. Um, but then I have to decide if I'm doing like replacing the pages or, um, or like just using them as a background or using them as a kind of overlay on top. All right, what I've decided to do is um, trim out these pieces. So these are, um, well, not this one, this is for the end. Just, these here are pages that I took out because I didn't use them. Um, and I'm going to trim out the boxes and stick them on here. All right, so I've got my pages ready. I am loving this paper. I know it was coincidence, but it is so beautiful for a transition season and for fall, and I'm really, really loving it. So as we determined, this is going to be, these are going to be my focus stickers, but I'm going to let myself use things other places. And I'm going to see if I can find a nice long box. Now this is a memory keeping. Are these sized for the big? I think they are two inches. All right, these long boxes aren't going to fit. So I'm going to pull out my autumn sticker book because I know there are long ones there and that it's sized for the classic. So this is one of the older ones. I got it cheap at, oh yeah. Okay. I'm loving these. We might use them. Shoot. I used this already for a spread. I didn't think I'd want it, but now I do. I'm, I'm not going to go whole hog on this fall book, but I might use it some because it's perfect uh, for these for the scrapbook paper. But we let the dice decide, and the dice decided on this one, so we're going to make sure to focus on that. All right. My favorites are this fall favorites and this autumn plans, and I think they're mostly the same color. So I'm going to go with the autumn plans as a sidebar. At some point, I'm going to need date covers because I don't have any dates or month or anything yet. So that's yet to do. And then it would be, I'm, I'm still going to pull something from this. Because I'm, I'm fine with these going outside of the boxes, but here in the sidebar, I kind of need it to be the normal one and a half inches. Autumn is a second spring where every leaf is a flower. That's really cute. Do I want anything functional there? I usually do habit trackers. 
and uh, what I'm set scheduling for social media, but I can fit that all in this if I need to. So I think I can do something just decorative there. I'm trying to look at my colors here. Crisp breeze, crunchy leaves, hot tea, and sweaters, please. I like this teal, but probably I'll try and, and I know I'm going to want to use teal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I could use that for here for my social media scheduling. I think I want a warm color from this side over here. That's what I've already got. How about I've got too many candles, said no one ever. I do have a lot of candles. This like peach color that's over. I'm missing the dot grid that's uh, usually in the sidebar. So this isn't a particularly functional book. It's a memory keeping book elsewhere, like functional boxes. As I said, I don't mind if they're too big um, because I frequently do that anyway, but I'm gonna need functional boxes from somewhere else. I usually need about one functional box per day because I don't actually need all that much room. So I think what I'm going to do is get a functional box for here. And that will be Tuesdays and then like a functional box here for Monday. All right, this live today, I'm going to put on this side to bring the colors over. And I think I'm just going to plop it in here. Friday and Saturday can switch. This green is too yellow for the green we've got here so i'm not going to worry about that all three of the three of these have foil and they're all rose gold so that works as these things go i wonder if i'm going to enjoy putting the functional boxes later <laughs> on here i could use them i don't always use functional boxes i could make some checklists and stuff too be nice to have another cool toned one, but I could use some of these headers. They're too big, but it's not a big deal. I'm liking this darker to so enjoy today. So I'm gonna put like a to-do list here. I already know that I'm doing one up here, so let's get a little more pink. Happy day, enjoy today, I've already got. Do the let's do this. Oh, here's a let's do this. Need, need something decor here and like here. These are kind of cool. They're very springy, but they still kind of match. All right, let's see what else matches. This does, so does this. I'd like to get the green if I could. If you know me, I'm not opposed to printing out what I want if I need to. So if I need a functional box in that color, although right now I'm looking for a decor box. All right, I'm going to cut it in half because then I can use it twice. And it's part of the challenge book. All right, we now have something functional and decorative in every, for every day. I'm going to look at the washi. All right, so I found these washi I got in a pack together at Joann's, and I think I'm going to sprinkle these around. I think maybe I'm gonna like do sets of two where they overlap and make a cool color in a couple different places, like here, maybe up here. So let's see. We're trying to spread some of the color around. So I think I might do this dark blue, maybe up here, maybe these two down here, and we'll see if we can throw in pink somewhere. So I learned this from planning with Bumble. Uh, where you overlap translucent washi, you know, give a nice rough edge, and um, you make kind of different colors. Oh, 
Okay, uh, we might add more washi in a little bit, but I like at least to add it. So now I'm gonna do uh, little pieces of decor, you know, the little icons or whatever. I'm gonna try to do it from this memory keeper one, but I might get some of the fall stickers in too, because they're just too cute. I'm gonna try and work some more leaf action in here. I don't have any brown, but I don't feel like it clashes, so we might go. We do have some leaves here, too. This is the one I was looking at earlier, but I think it's time has passed. These are rose gold foil, which is what I have here and maybe here. I can't tell anymore. Not really pumpkin weather yet, but I think it's going to look really cute down here. It goes. And who am I to argue with what goes? I think pretty much just here. And we're good. See if there's any like must haves from the fall book, although I could easily make it work from this book here. Oh, I love this washi strip. Oh, it's tiny. I don't know about that. This one would have been really cute too when I was looking for decorative boxes. So I haven't been recording and I don't know for how long. So that's fun. I will find that out in editing, but. Uh, what I just did was put this great day and these leaves down here, and then I put some of these little decor. I think that's as far as we missed, and now I need to date it, and I'm wondering, there are a bunch of letters in here. They're on clear. I'm thinking about just doing M, you know, the letters M, T, W, see how they show up. What's tricky about this? They show up pretty well. Is that the stripes? Like I want to center it on the um, on the columns, but the stripes are make make that look harder, look less good. Tuesday. There's too much here. I don't like it. Yeah, they're stuck. Okay, it's fine. All right, the last thing to do is actually put the dates, which I don't know off the top of my head, and write September right here. I'm just going to do that in a white jelly pen. That actually looks very close to this. I've got a letter in here. I'm going to add some weight to it, do a little photography here. All right, um, and as I said, I don't know what the dates are off the top of my head, so I will do that later. Clear off my desk, just to get the last look here. And thank you to the dice for this really fun autumn spread. Yes, I'm just pushing things off screen. I'm not actually cleaning up, but this is going to look so cute and my planner for this week. I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked the dice, let me know. Um, they were only really at the beginning, but I thought it was a lot of fun, and I don't think this is the spread I would have come up with otherwise. So uh, if you like it, please leave a comment below. That would be really helpful to know what people enjoy. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do if you would like to see more of my videos of kind of a little unusual spreads, inspiration, and ideas. All right, bye friends.